Hello and welcome to the Mike Les Farmhand Mike YouTube channel, bringing you some of the biggest and best variety and definitely the most versatile farming content on social media today. You can find me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Farmhand Mike. When you're running combine and have that view over there, that's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Les guy on YouTube. Hey everyone, welcome back for another video. In this video, I am out in a cornfield near Washington Courthouse, Ohio, as this farm is side dressing their corn, aka putting some nitrogen on the corn. In this video, you're going to see the farm pulling their anhydrous applicator and tank using their AECO DT240 tractor. This farm also runs an AECO DT200 that was hooked to a Kinsey planter and planting soybeans just a few miles from this field. And I did get some video of that, so stay tuned. That will be a future video as well. I did a video out at this farm a few years ago as they was harvesting corn. These tractors were hooked to grain carts. They was also running their gleaner combines. This farm deals with Mare Farm Equipment out of Jeffersonville, Ohio. And Mare's lined me up for another great video opportunity. When it comes to applying anhydrous ammonia to a field, again, this gives the field nitrogen. Some guys will actually put this on before they plant, called pre-plant, and then other guys will knife it in between the rows like you see here. You have to be careful when you do it this way because you could burn the corn. This anhydrous applicator you see has the knife that's putting the anhydrous down and also has the discs to help cover that where it's cutting into the soil to seal that anhydrous down in the ground. But you might see a little puff when it comes to the end of the field and lifts the applicator out of the ground. And then some guys will use what they call a applicator, side dressing corn that way, using 28% nitrogen. And I'll just say it now before someone comments, that one knife is running down a row that was already done. So his outside rows here, he has an orifice in there, so they're only getting a half of application each time. That way he can run the same rows as the planter. The day I was down here filming actually turned out to be a pretty good day for filming Alice Chalmers branded equipment. I filmed an Alice Chalmers, I filmed a Deutz Alice, I filmed an Eggco Alice, and of course these Eggcos here. I've already uploaded a couple of those videos. i got a couple more I need to upload and get up here on the channel. But I did film this on Memorial Day weekend, and I can only imagine after this anhydrous was applied and some rain that this corn looks really good now because it looked really good the day I was here. A couple quick specs on the Eggco DT240 tractor. These were built in France from 2005 to 2008, and this tractor is about the exact same thing as a Massey Ferguson Model 8480. These tractors are powered with a Sisu 8.4 liter 6 cylinder diesel engine that would also be 513 cubic inches in size. These tractors are rated at 290 engine horsepower or 240 PTO horsepower. These tractors have a CVT transmission and a top speed of 25 mile per hour. I will also point out when they are turning on the end rows there, if you side dress the corn at this stage, a lot of that corn will bounce back and you're not totally damaging it when you run it over.
Alrighty, that's going to do it for this video, and stay tuned. I will have a video of their DT200 Echo and Kinsey Planner coming up soon. Anyways, feel free to go down there, hit that like button, comment below. If you're new to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you go down there and hit subscribe. And thank you for watching and supporting all my social medias on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok.